Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need Phillips, sledless screwdrivers, and an open ended half inch wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. This water inlet valve is located at the back of the refrigerator inside the machine compartment mounted on the side of the cabinet. It provides water to the ice maker and the water dispenser on demand. There are a couple of symptoms of a failed valve. No water in the ice maker or at the fountain, or a water leak from the valve housing. If you run into any of these problems, check and replace the water inlet valve. Here we are at the back of the fridge, and uh, this is the water inlet valve that we are going to replace. I'm going to start with placing the towel underneath, and then I'm going to use a half inch open end wrench, and I'm going to take off this. Uh, water inlet line. Before undoing it, make sure that you turn off the water. Then we're going to turn it counterclockwise and put it aside. I'm going to keep the towel still there. Next I'm going to take out these Phillips screws that hold this rear access panel. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to take them all out. And now we're going to pull it off. Next step is uh, removing of this uh, single Phillips screw that's actually holds the water inlet valve. And using that Phillips screwdriver. And now we're going to unhook it in this point right there and uh, slide it out. Now I'm going to remove these uh, two connectors. I'm going to use a flat blast screwdriver. I'm going to slide it in there and pry it off. And uh, next step would be taking out this clip, that locking clip, and press it out. Save it. We are going to reuse it. Now I'm going to use this uh, half inch open on the wrench. I'm going to press down on the locking collar here, and I'm going to pull out the water line. All right. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, so we're going to install this uh, valve in, and I'm going to start with placing that uh, locking ring on under this uh, collar. So, uh, slide it in. It will uh, prevent the accidental release from of the water line. Now I'm going to press it in, insert it, and push it in all the way, as far as it goes. Right now, turn it over, and uh, I'm going to install this uh, uh, terminals. It doesn't matter which one goes where. And I'm gonna put it in. So we have this little uh, L-shape bracket that goes into this uh, cutout right there. And I'm gonna bring the screw. We're gonna align the holes and secure it with this uh, Phillips screw. Right, I'm going to install this uh, rear access panel. I'm going to place it down and uh, align the holes. And I'm going to start placing the Phillips screws in. Right, I'm going to bring in the water line and uh, we're going to install it on. But before, we're going to take this safety cap off. So the valve is naked now and ready for the installation. I'm going to do a uh, First couple of threads manually. 
and I'm going to use this half inch open end wrench and we're going to tighten it. Do not over tighten it. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. After you establish that there's no leaks, take the towel off. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.